What is up everybody? Old guy jamming here. Today we're gonna play around with this orange stamp. Pretty cool product. See if we can get some decent tones out of it. And then I'll have some opinion at the end. So in that uh, first bit with the Telecaster, I was using the uh, the Schecter PT Telecaster. My settings were right about there. We have the volume a little over halfway up. We've got the tone or the shape knob just a little bit past 12 o'clock noon. And then the gain is below 12 o'clock. And as you may have noticed um, with this deal, and I'll have more about this later, but once you get the, it's fine without a pedal until you get the gain up about noon and thing, then things become kind of garbled and messy and you're going to need an overdrive pedal to get any good tones out of it. So we're going to switch over to a rock guitar now, the EVH guitar, and get some hard rock and metal tones. <clears throat> Now my favorite time when I get to talk, which drives everybody nuts, but I'm trying to keep it down. All right, so as I alluded to earlier, this is a great product if you don't mind having an always on pedal, in my opinion. Now the uh, Seymour Duncan 805 works really good as, an eight, as a 
Yeah, the 805. Works as a good constant on pedal. And the uh, Tumnus, which I just got uh, thanks to a, a watcher, a viewer, that uh, recommended this, said it was like a soul food, but with a three band EQ. I am loving this pedal. It's one of the surprise buys of the year, made by Wampler. Now, uh, and this works as a nice lower gain, always on type pedal too. But um, at if you're a telly or strap player, your guitar is gonna be bright enough that the tonal characteristics of this won't bother you too much, but it does tend to be darker in nature. I can't imagine ever running the shape knob way over here to the left. But as you get further to the right, it does become very scooped and the top end comes out more for hard rock and metal. But still you have a real flubby bottom end that you just can't get away from unless you have a pedal engaged. It just doesn't clean up real well. However, with a pedal on, it sounds great. Very cool. Uh, and the neat thing about it as well is that the pedals, uh, I was stacking up to three pedals at a time through this, and it doesn't overcompress or get mushy, which is uh, nice. Doesn't lose the articulation of the clarity. Was using the Tumnus and a Rat for boosting a lead, and it still sounded pretty decent. It gets pretty decently loud once the gain is up, but if the gain is down, like for a clean or a telly, uh, strat style guitar with just mild breakup then you you'll have plenty of volume for a bedroom or something like that but you're not going to compete with anybody in a larger room um, the features on the back are very nice why I was attracted to this it has an effects loop got to have an effects loop if you're going to be in my room it's got a headphone jack out which I thought might be nice for quiet practicing at night However, the headphone jack, severely disappointing for me. I was utilizing um, my pair of Sony open can microphones. I like these open cans because they um, allow me to hear when my wife is yelling at me. I can still hear, you know, volume, low volume playing. Very nice around the ears, but the cans are open so that if she's yelling at me, I can respond because if I don't respond, things just go bad at really quick. Um, and then the speaker out, 8 or 16 ohms is really nice. Effects loop and the input. Everything's back here on the back. Very clean, very nice. The two volumes, another thing I thought would have been, I had a couple of suggestions for this product. A switch, some things I thought would be cool. A switch that allows you to either have a volume boost or a gain boost would have been really sweet instead of just a volume, instead of limiting us to volume. And then another thing I thought would have been really cool, since this is going likely to go on a pedal board, having a nine volt out either on the box or in the adapter. Why not have an isolated nine volt out here as well so that you could plug in one box and then run this as well as three or four pedals, two or three pedals with the, uh, with the amplifier into a cab. You know, I had this whole thing planned out where this was going to sit in a recess on top of a small 1x12 cab with a partially closed back. The partially closed back would be on a hinge so that it could open up and there would be a looper, a delay, and an overdrive pedal to be used with this. That way I could grab my cabinet. This would already be in a little recess with a nice big ring magnet on the bottom. All the inputs and outputs are on the back. So I could put my cabinet down, have this and all my little pedals right fold out of the back of the cab. It would be a sweet setup. But because of this, uh, the limitations on this with pedals, I think it's going to have to go back. Um, because I'm still looking for something. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm still looking for a nice, small, little good sounding practice amp and as far as i may have to go back and get the marshall dsl 5 cr as it's the sweetest little tiny low volume amp i've ever played still still hoping for a great orange product in my life sometime i've had a couple and i think there's going to be one eventually the brent hines so far i had the great dirty channel but once i got the mesa there's a little need for a lot of other amps it covers so much ground okay so um, maybe that helps you decide whether or not you want to venture into this. If you don't mind pedals on, 
this works out pretty well. By itself, not very good. You're not, I don't think you're going to like the tones you get out of it. All right, there you go. You all have a good day. I'll see you next time.